everyone um, in this tutorial I will show you how uh, you can identify any deleted partition and um, after identifying it how uh, you can recover that partition by using in case um, now to do so a very brief recap of our previous uh, tutorial where you have learned um, to investigate the MBR and VBR now in our previous one MBR said there is only one partition from VBR we found um, how many sectors that partition had we have added the uh, spare sectors here and the sectors found on the VBR anyways um, now I'm trying to go at end of the VBR uh, so according to our previous tutorial um, we had only one partition I'm trying to go to the sector which is at end of that partition um, I know where is it um, the number so what I'm doing here is um, if I right click go to and 3894912 now this was the end of that uh, VBR if you remember that was a um, uh, NTFS partition and this was the backup VBR now where our first partition has ended um, it's a very normal practice when uh, you create a uh, you create partitions you finish your first drive which is C drive then you say I want to create a new partition on D drive uh, right after that so theoretically people always start the partition here now uh, where I um, saw the last uh, VBR I clicked here now what can I see if I go to the hex value here uh, yes this looks like a partition table because it does have 55 AA but please don't be confused any partition table should have something else as well you can see everything here is zero you don't have any NTFS or FAT kind of signature you do have only 55 AA there can be so many different reasons why this signature is there so we can say that maybe this is not a deleted partition I have checked a couple of these and obviously I don't see any signature which, um, which will tell me that this can be a deleted partition now it is really um, uh, difficult it will be a nightmare to go through with these thousands of sectors and check where is those signatures NTFS and both 55AA something like that we can't do that really and today's hard drives are really large hard drives with um, hundreds of uh, gigabytes of data in case uh, has um, um, is providing a very nice tool here um, to go through with all of those sectors and to check whether there is any deleted partition whether there is any VBR uh, which is not being used it simply check um, if there is a signature like uh, NTFS uh, or FAT32 along with a 55AA now to use that um, in case feature you need to click on end script and you need to click on case processor you might already know about evidence processor please remember that's different than case processor case processor will allow you to um, look for any deleted partition or things like that now uh, once you run this case processor uh, it will give you the result in a um, bookmark so it doesn't show you the result um, like any other ways it just create a bookmark and uh, that bookmark will be there so I'm, I'm uh, creating the uh, recovery I'm creating the bookmark folder as partition recovery I'm leaving the comments um, I don't need any but uh, you should give um, a meaningful comments if you click on next now it's saying that it does not exist in a folder try to create this folder yes I want to create this folder um, very important thing what exactly you want to do if you want to um, use only partition finder you click on it now many times um, there can be lots of sectors together uh, according to the definition of partition you know that um, partition should be the uh, consecutive sectors 
um, defined together where um, operating system can write the data now if someone delete the vbr intentionally uh, still all the consecutive sectors should be there so it's a good idea if you always try to go through with the consecutive sectors here as well once if you select this remember it will take a bit longer once you are done you click on finish and it will take some time so i'm not using it uh, here i believe um, i did run it before properly and uh, it should be on my bookmarks now to see the result what you did here did run a case processor try to identify whether there is any vbr deleted vbr in any of these thousands of sectors after this is done um, you will click on view and then you will click on bookmarks now uh, see in my bookmarks I have a couple of things but um, there is one partition finder what I created as bookmarks it is giving me two folders one consecutive sector one is partition finder I'm interested in this one untitled that's my hard drive name um, if you are analyzing C barrow image um, most probably by default that is the disk name so double click on it now it is giving me three pieces of information i will make it a um, bit more organized so that i can translate you the whole details first one is volume slack um, i hope that uh, you understand what volume slack is that's out of uh, my uh, topic here we'll talk about that in another uh, tutorial unused disk area unused disk area oh NCAS found two unused disk area let's try to understand what is it it's saying in case believe this is unused disk area which has a fat file system bookmark starts that's fine bookmark sector so it's saying that in case found a VBR at this um, uh, sector 3894975 in case also found another sector which contains some VBA information on 3894981 you will uh, see that there are six sectors difference between these two and if you remember that um, if the partition is uh, NTFS partition backup VBA will be at end of the partition but if the partition is a um, fat partition, backup VBR will be six sector after the primary VBR. Now looking into this data, uh, can we conclude or can we at least uh, think that there is a possibility that um, there was a VBR on 975 sector and the backup VBR is on 981 sector which match the criteria for fat file system if we can recover these two vbrs um, or if we can go through with the process defined by n case then we can recover a full partition just one quick point um, any partition will have to have a vbr will have to have a backup vbr if it is ntfs first sector and very last sector will be the uh, VBR backup VBR if it is fed first sector and sixth sector after will be the backup VBR so let's see uh, if we uh, if we simply go to that sector and we will try to see um, what information that particular sector um, has now to go to that sector 3894975 I'm clicking on this sorry, 3894975 this is these are our sectors I'm clicking on any sector here 3894975 if I click on this and now let's see what is in there this is my sector I clicked on hex now what I can see ah I can see fat 32 seems like this is a fat partition if I go to six sector after so that was my uh, primary VBR just assumed one two three four five six now this is another sector which has exact same information as like first one 
looking into these two pieces of information we can assume that um, this is a fat partition what user has deleted if we can recover the partition we can get lots of data just one quick thing i want to show here uh, if you click on your evidence you will see at the moment it has only c drive nothing else now coming back to uh, my primary vbr okay mm, is it was it the primary vbr no it wasn't uh, this was the primary vbr we had this information from bookmarks which is 3894975 so i selected that sector and now i can see that it has a fat sign select this primary vbr not the backup one please click on partition click on add partition all the information will be there by default you just need to select fat32 because from here i can see the signature file signature is fat32 so i have selected fat32 now one very important change you will have to make here which is unused sector before vbr if it was the very fast volume of the partition um, of your disk then there would be 63 sectors uh, allocated for the system you cannot write anything on that 63 sectors you remember when you were investigating the fast vbr you saw that fast volume has started from 63 nothing was there before apart from the mbr and couple of information when you are recovering this partition you will have to make it zero so on your sectors before vbr zero all the other information will be same as it is that will be picked up automatically click on okay <clears throat> okay now we can see all the color has been changed we will assume that our drive has been recovered if i go to the evidence we will expect to see the drive here no nothing there and nothing will be there you need to close the evidence and then you need to come back to home again browse the evidence again and this time it should give us the d drive now see we got a new drive which wasn't there when you have looked into the um, uh, into this image for the first time inside d drive you will see some interesting pictures car explosion uh, explosions um, how to make bombs couple of other things like that i, I forgot what are the other stuffs out there uh, but um, from here um, if you are investigator you can really conclude something mbr of this disk is saying that it has only one drive you found c drive end of the c drive you found lots of sectors um, unused so you thought there could be a deleted partition initially you try to go through with some of the sectors you haven't found any vbr related information so you did run this n case case processor after running it you found uh, some information on bookmarks and you found that there are um, two sectors which is containing similar information for fat partition and you recovered that partition after recovering the partition you can see that um, this user did have uh, quite a lot of um, um, stuffs what can go towards the evidence for a criminal case or something um, on this partition so why someone will delete a partition at the first place um, and uh, why there will be lots of materials related to car explosion things like that um, only this section will give you a strong basic um, to justify your report or to conclude your report um, hopefully you understood uh, what we have done on this tutorial thank you i will see you uh, on some other tutorial next time thank you